colors. So, Kyle, so we've been waiting all week. <laughs> okay, I really, really like to do um, paper piecing. Paper piecing. I like to do paper piecing once I figured it out. Yes. Oh, Laurel, you missed yesterday. So you're a member oh. of the club. Go in the club and you can yeah, find it. You can if get not, it. we can show you. Yeah. So paper piecing. So I came across this one. I just love that. I love pinwheels. I love everything about them. So I decided I'd do this one. <laughs> she's been doing it and, and doing, doing it, it and doing it. So Allison First she thinks did she's it. really funny. First she did it the wrong size. And I'm like, <laughs> nope. And then I didn't fit one of my pieces on, right? Right. And the middle was had a hole. <laughs> Do you think anybody will notice that? <laughs> then she didn't get a diagram on her pattern. Yep. So that's why I'm doing Friday. Yes. We gave okay. her a few extra days because <laughs> I'm everything awesome. is figure outable. <laughs> Go back to the drawing board, Kyle. It's really, really fun. And um, I did it. Where's my block? Let's see. You know how you're supposed to. Where is your block? It's right there. Oh, okay. You know how you're supposed to show my um, quilts? See, see how pretty that is. <laughs> this Look is my how block. pretty that is. Isn't that darling? Yes, it's beautiful. I loved it. I loved it. Okay, mm. so Marion's never paper pieced a pinwheel. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so so guess what? Look at this. There are four four squares on here. One, two, three, four. But no, 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 that no. isn't really how it goes. So really, you are doing that as one. Can they see that? I that is so. one. I'm going to show you. This is what you are Sandy, working with. Finish size is eight by eight. Yes. When you cut it all, when you sew when it, you all, sew it all together. Right. Okay. So this is what we're going to sew. And look. Sherry, I cannot be on bloopers. That had nothing to do with me. Both hands were holding this just like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, Mary has a pretty black leaves. You're gone. Are we still gone? Are we gone still? So are we gone? You guys laugh out loud, Kyle. 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 <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay. Yeah, Good, you're back. back. Good. Okay. okay. Thank you, Susan. I'm sorry if you guys all blacked out in your mind because this <laughs> it was so us. pretty. Yeah. It oh, had yeah. To do with Blew that. your mind. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> all right. So here is our four pieces. One, two, two three, three, four. Okay. Show us Simple. how to do this. Simple. Okay. We also have written instructions and you will download the pattern also. Okay. I always have to do a disclaimer. One other thing that we're using to make this a lot easier is the add a quarter inch ruler. Oh my heck. This, I must get those. This is kind of a lifesaver because I have some issues <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's not discuss Kyle's no. issues. <laughs> no, I got too many and I don't take too long. Um, so first thing I will tell you is you get your paper piece, your paper, the paper piecing paper, is that what you call Let's it? Let's call it a template. Template. Okay. You are going to copy this four times. Four times copy this. And is it best to do it on paper piecing paper? Or is it, or do you just do it on copy paper? You can do it on copy paper. Okay. And I have, but it's thicker. Yeah. 
That's what I was going to say. When I've done it before, I mean, mm -hmm. you spend 10 times longer getting uh, yeah. the paper off. Yeah. Than you I do. was going to bring my log cabin that I'm working on. been working on it for two years. Because um, you can't get the paper off. <laughs> yes, you have to sit and pick all the paper off of that. And um, so this only has four pieces. That had like 15 okay. pieces. So yesterday four. we showed some foundation paper. Would that work? Yes. Okay. That is what you need. And that's still going to be on the website today. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, she's spilling. I know. She's I can't help myself. Over I never could keep a secret in for Christmas either. I gave my kids always their gift before. Okay, so you're going you're going to make four copies of this template. Okay, don't you're not going to sew four times on this. You're going to do it once, twice, three times a lady. Four. <laughs> Four times. Four times. So you need four pieces Who of things that? Ooh, okay. It's not Chicago. Time. No. Commodores. <laughs> Once, That's right. Twice. twice three times. A lady. A lady. Yeah. Okay. And the fourth <laughs> one, two. Boy, we're good. Okay. So you can see that these are numbered. I made sure I numbered them. They're all a one, a two, a three, see, I have it memorized because I've made it so many times. A three and a four. Okay. First thing I do is here's my one that I'm working on. This is a one, and that I know that's white. So I wrote white, I wrote pink, I wrote red, and white. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Freezer paper and tearaway stabilizer, they both work, but until you have used. Yeah. Yeah, um, tear away. Go ahead and try it. Because what you need to do also when you are paper piecing is shorten your stitch length. Yes, very important. And why do you do that? Because I know these things. Because <laughs> she's like a genius. Because <laughs> I've done them all. If you have a big stitch, you have more chance of um, loosening up your stitch and, and stretching the, the thread and all kinds of things. And you want that to uh, perforate, look at that big word I use, perforate the paper. And so what would you change your stitch size to? I changed mine to 1.5. I think I told you on here, 1 to 1.5. Okay, so we're going to tighten up that little stitch on our machine. Yep, yep, just perfect. Make sure you do that because it really does make a difference. If you want to test this out, try it without shortening your stitch. You'll be frustrated. Take a picture and send it in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you get your foundation paper, you get your um, stitch length shortened. Those are two very important things before you even start, okay? okay. I also tried um, tracing. Don't trace, because you're never gonna have it the same size. No matter how precise you think you are, I would always copy it. Okay. Copy. Good, because, good tips. Yeah. Because you're doing all these lines and, yeah, you're guessing. So the thing about paper piecing is everything is exact. I mean, things work out usually. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So your very first one that you're going to do is A1. Oh, and these lines, these heavy lines, the dark lines, are your stitching lines. Okay. The lighter line, the thinner line, is your cutting line. Okay. Okay. Dark I, stitch. I've also cut it cut. on the stitching line. That was one. She had to redo it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So dark lines are your cut lines, uh, are your stitch lines. <laughs> Maybe that's why I have a problem. So okay. I have not seen Eddie Murphy mimicking Buckwheat from The Little Rascals <laughs> singing once, twice, three times a lady, but I'm going to check <laughs> that out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So the first one you're going to do. Oh, another tip. Janet What's says, make sure your printer is set to print at 100%. Good, good thing. Yes. Ours, ours is at 100%. Okay. You do not have to increase it because I did that already for you. Because <laughs> I didn't have it right the first time. So we know that by the end, that is eight and a half inches, eight inches on your stitch line. Okay. Okay. All Got right. You. So the first one you're going to do is A1. And I tell you in the instructions, you are going to, let's lay this down. Okay. Okay. You're going to lay your pattern down. And I usually, 
cut all the extra off because I don't want to be messing with all the extra paper. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is this is A1. Okay. There's a right and a wrong side to my fabric. Okay. You are going to take, this is the hardest part. If you can remember this part, and I would read my instructions over and over, you put this on wrong side of fabric to the wrong side of your pattern. Oh, so would it help to hold this up? Yep. Hold this up, trace on the back, and then, okay. Yes. Gotcha. Um, wrong side to wrong yes. side. If you do wrong side one way and you put it on the right side the other way, you're going to have a mess. Okay. Okay. So Did you, you do that? Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> just There's it. one sitting over there. Remember I just told you? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. I've done them all, so I know. Okay. So you're going to take your wrong side of your fabric and put to the wrong side of your pattern, covering. Oh, if you had Kimberbell tape. This would be a good time. Absolutely. To tape it on. Yes, I would do that rather than a or pin. Or scotch tape or anything. Yes. Or you can use the fabric glue, whatever. Yeah. Something to make sure it doesn't move. Because if you get it moved over and you've got it, you know, you've got it over the lines, you can't have... see you. Oh, they can't no. see that. Sorry. <laughs> if okay. you, I can see through this paper right here, and I know that my fabric has gone at least a quarter of an inch past that stitching line on number one. I want I want to make sure it's all covered. So I would put tape on it, lay this back down, okay. and it is wrong side up. Okay. And your wrong side of your fabric is on the wrong side. I'm gonna grab you some tape. Oh, that's probably a good idea. So the next color that I know, because I've done this a million times, I'm gonna do the pink. I'm going to do the stitch line right there. Thank you. That's awesome. Look at how pretty. Oh, Allison's cold. That yeah, it did. It was great. Do not, do not. I know that someone needs to read my lips. Do not line your fabric up on the stitch line. You need a quarter of an inch all the way around. So I'm gonna do that. Glue stick. Glue stick. Glue stick works Okay, so too. I put the tape, the Kimberbell tape, because it comes off really easy. Mm -hmm. Don't use some other tapes that don't come off. Like that tape? Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. So I have taped it on there, so now I know that I am a quarter of an inch all the way around that. So then, what I do, one thing I like to do too, and I'm gonna take this ruler, and see that line right there? The, the stitch line? The stitch line. Yes. I am going to just put my ruler right there. Okay. And I'm going to do just a little fold. Oh, what a good idea. Yeah, because now I know exactly. See, I can tell where my line is. Okay. So I'm going to take... I'm going to pretend this is the one. So I've already got my white on there. I've trimmed it a little bit. So now I'm placing my pink on top. That is where I just so folded. So just on the fold line. Yep. Oh, uh, or a quarter past. inch. Quarter inch. Okay. Quarter inch past there. Quarter inch past there. Okay. So ladies, do you have another little piece of pink or something? Mm -hmm. So ladies, what we're going to do is we're, we've got our fold line right here. Do you see this Here's fold right. line? Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do now wrong side together but i'm that's gonna... not the fold it's right here that's this the fold. tape yeah oh <laughs> yep this is the fold right here right oh i put it up there kyle jeez louise no wonder she had to kyle. do it so many times <laughs> okay so then i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna move it up I, i'm gonna do a little bit more than you... a quarter inch yeah if you if you go past the quarter of an inch you're trimming it anyway so yeah at least the quarter of an inch but you've got to make sure that that next color covers number two. Right. So then I'm going to layer just right up here and a quarter inch past here, quarter inch past here, and I get da -da -da, that, yep. right? Right. Okay. So we're going to flip it over because you've taped it now. Flip it over, and we have right sides together here. Okay. Now those are right sides together because remember we put our wrong side 
to the wrong side of the paper. Right. So we are going to go a stitch or two. I know Susan needs us to, to talk to her. So you're going to start out. Don't cover your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're going to go one to two stitches past the line. Okay. Past where you're going to start. And one to two stitches past. Where am I at? Past where you end. Okay. 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 So we are stitching on this side. You will stitch all of them on this side. So I start right there. So we're going to lay the fabric on the wrong side. We're going to stitch on the right side. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we've, we've stitched A1 to A2 or A2 to A1. Okay. So now we're going to flip it over. So it comes out like that. Okay. So it comes out like that, Susan. Then we're going to flip it over. Right. And where we just stitched is already folded a little bit. But now we have that. Okay. This is where this comes in handy. And this set that we have has two different sizes. I like the small one, but by the time we get done, it is not big enough. So you need both sizes. Okay. This ruler right here has a little bit of a lip. Can they see that? Has yeah, a little know, bit of a lip. It. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So that's the great thing about this. You want to see what I'm doing? I am putting that lip oh. right on where my paper hooks. Let me show you there. See that? It just hooks right where that paper is folded. Nice. And then you can trim a quarter of an inch. I will have that all the way along there. Let me show you a better one, one that I did better. You will put that on there and it's not gonna move. That's the great thing. And you're just gonna trim with your rotary cutter and trim a quarter of an inch, okay? Okay. So we have one and two, but the good thing, the thing that you need to be sure when you are putting them together is that your fabric will cover this whole triangle. Okay. This isn't hard. You just have to think a minute and give yourself plenty of room. Plenty of room. That's why I told them to cut a, was it five and a half inches? La, 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 la. Five inch, five inch squares. These are not five inches, but to have enough room to make sure you get this point up to there and over to here, you just want to have enough because you get frustrated. You don't need to be frustrated doing this. And five inches was great. So you put that on there. I know I have covered enough for that, that triangle. So now we go to, we're going to put on A3 and I know that is red because I've already marked mine. So I'm going to get my red. Okay, I had to grab a different kind of fabric because I ran out. Because I made so many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my brother. Okay, so you're going to... This is A1, A2. Get out. I'm sorry, guys. A1... A2. <laughs> He's persistent. Okay, so now we're on A3, and I know that is red. So we have put it on. I can't even concentrate. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <As a teacher. laughs> but I'm like, turn over your cell phone. Oh, my cell phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are putting on the third triangle, whatever, third piece of fabric. So I have laid it. So I know I have quarter of an inch. Oh. So before we do that, Larry says, foundation paper piecing allows you to super sharp points, odd shapes. You can even use lame fabrics for accents for your blocks. Um, and you never have to worry about the bias stretch. It's perfect for scraps as long as they're bigger than what you need to cover. And I think that's that, an excellent way to say that. Yes, yes. Because if you try and do it with smaller things, the sun shining right on you. I love it. Yeah. 
Look at this. She's glistening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make sure your vampire. piece is big enough. Your vampire. Okay, so I am on to my third piece. I have laid it. We're going to pretend it's the great big five by five inch. So I've laid it on there. I know that this, this piece of fabric will cover that right there because I have a fold there where my next line is. I'm going to take... Folks, and you can use this paper too. Let me just show you this. You can fold this over um, so that you see exactly what you have to cover. That's so right. So that when you lay this right here. Uh -huh. so, so just know that even though this is the whole thing, feel free to fold back and forth. So I, that this I is did that a thing. lot. Yes. So I could see where I'm going. It's a good point. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, with the right sides together, I'm putting on my third piece. I am flipping it back over, and I know that I have gone past. Right. I've left myself more than a quarter of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to stitch from the top or the bottom, and I'm going to stitch that whole line. And I'm going to go just a little bit past on the top and the bottom. Or you also could start here, back stitch two, and you then could. come forward. You could. I did a stay stitch. Yep. I like a stay stitch. I do too. Okay, so then we come back here. We're going to fold that back. Put your add a quarter ruler on there. Probably. And it's hooked onto my, my fold, so it's not moving. I'm going to have an exact quarter of an inch. Use your rotary cutter and cut a quarter of an inch. So then, there we are. Nice. Open it all up. And there we are. We know we're past where okay, we gotta, need to be. I gotta shut this. <laughs> we're having we're, we're having, having a okay. twilight moment. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I have gone past. Whoa, that is bright. I have gone past. That that helps a lot. They can see a lot better now. I think. Okay. Um, I have gone past where I need to be. So that's my third piece. I got one more piece. It's easy. Okay. So then. I know I've got the fold there. I'm going to lay this down, face down. And where's my last white? Here is my white. And see how much bigger that is than that little square, that little triangle? I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So I know this is at least a quarter of an inch past where it needs to be. So I'm lining that up. Right sides together. Right sides together, right. And I always do this test. Okay, I know I'm big enough. So I'll bring it back and then I'll flip it back over and I'm gonna stitch from here to there. And I'll have to show them that. So I've got all four of my pieces on there. So here we go. What we have just done is that. Yes, right here. Right. Let me show you. Do you know See? what? I'm going to go. You're going to stitch it? I'm going to stitch it so we can okay. show them exactly. All right. I don't know where my, well, I know what I did. This is the one that I did the wrong okay. way. All Kyle, all <laughs> Kyle. I had nothing to do with it. She had her back turned. I, I was clear back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really good. So she's going to sew this last piece on. Well, yep, sorry, sorry. Okay, so there's our last piece. She's going to sew that. She's sewing this seam right there, okay? this one okay let's see after these messages we'll be right back <laughs> yeah good don't tell anybody oh sherry <laughs> sherry's watching 
Darn it. Sherry, didn't have anything to do with me. <laughs> I've been doing so good because I don't touch anything. All right. Here's our last one. Okay. So here's our last triangle. She lined it up. Now I'm folding that back. You want to put that all the way down? Yep. We go back. I am taking my add a quarter ruler with that little um, lip. And I'm I put it right on that fold. I'm gonna take my uh, rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut right there. Did you get a mat? Oh, look at you. I love a rotating mat. Okay. Okay, so I've got this on here. That's not moving. That's not gonna jump over. So I'm taking my rotary cutter and I cut a quarter of an inch. There we go. Fold that back out, fold this out. And I would go and press this. And now this is where I'm gonna need the larger one. So all I would do on this is I'm going to line that up and I could fold that back, but I'm just lining that up right now on the sewing line right there. So I'm adding a quarter inch. Yep. Quarter inch. <laughs> quarter inch I know I'm not supposed to do that with my rotary cutter well this is the best rotary cutter ever yeah pretty much there we go I think it worked okay and now I'm going to do the last one and this would normally be pressed so I don't have to worry that there's a fold in it I am taking and I'm putting that quarter inch line right on my stitch line See, I've got a quarter inch all the way around. Flip that baby over. Look it. Dun, 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 it dun. worked. So, so now, let's see. Let's put it right on there. Perfect. Nice. So that is what you are doing. Then you're going to make three more. Exactly. So you have a total of four. Four of those blocks, those triangles. Okay. Okay. And that is my block. The cut line is a fourth of an inch away from the fold line. Yes, Chris, it mm -hmm. is exactly mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So we have we have made sure that when we have this, yes. that we have given you the two different lines. And the, the heavier line is the stitch line. Yep. So your fold is always on the cut line. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you're cutting on a line is right there. Because on the, Hold it up so I can see. oh, sorry. This is the only place on the outside is where you're going to cut on the line. These other ones, when you stitch and you fold that back, let me get that. And you fold that back, you are cutting a quarter of an inch from that line. Right. Okay. If you cut on that line, your block's going to be too small. And you'll cut your seam line. And you'll cut your seam line, and then it'll be really small. My my friend, my your friend, friend did that. Yeah. Okay. My so friend. what Kyle does not know is <laughs> she's so funny. I added on deal of the day number three. Yeah, a seam ripper. I would because, have one <laughs> because the first couple of times you do this, it's just a little tricky. And I don't care how many times you've done paper piecing, no. it kind of takes you a minute to have to get your brain wrapped around it. Yes. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, piece of Once cake. you start going and you've done it a couple times, you love it. I yes. want to make a whole quilt with that. Right. I Isn't do. Isn't that so cute? I do, for sure. Paper piecing is just a different technique to try. Yes, don't be afraid of it. Right. For this, all you need is three three colors to yes. make this. Yes, three colors. And or you can make it as scrappy as you want. Yeah. Yeah. But the next thing I want to just show, and we're almost out of time, so we yeah, got to yeah. kind of hustle. We were going to make this shorter for you guys, and we're mm -hmm. not, 
is sashing. So what we've done is we've taken two inches, right? So we've taken with our white fabric and you could use any color you wanted. And we were gonna do really fun and do this, but we've taken two inches. We're gonna sew three blocks together with a two inch sashing in between. Mm -hmm. Look at how cute that is. Look how cute that Show is. Show that next one. Okay, so you're gonna do that three times, two inch sashing in between. And we could do a whole nother three at three about sashing, squaring mm -hmm. up all those. But we just wanted to show you how cute this is turning out. And okay. then you put your, your rows together with another two inch sashing. Yep. Now, is this not the cutest table topper I love that it. you have I ever want seen? I want it um, real Our bad. other rows are in, Sandy. They are. They we are. Have one other one here. And so we just wanted to show you how we would put those together. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to sash in between. No, you can, you can just do that. But I kind of like that it gives a different style. Right. And how fun would these be if you um, clear blue tiled? Oh, 